world. Now, hundreds of thousands of Egyptians are expected to gather in Cairo's iconic Tahrir Square on the second anniversary of the beginning of the Egyptian revolution. However, they are not there to celebrate. Instead, they're holding rallies against the new government, which the uprising helped to bring to power. Let's go to live to Cairo now and speak to uh, Cairo-based reporter Bell True, uh, standing by live and joining us quickly on the program. Good to see you, Bell. Uh, how, how big are the crowds now? And t do tell us, are they remaining peaceful at the moment? At the moment, uh, tens of thousands of people have flooded into Egypt's Tahrir Square to mark uh, the anniversary of the January 25 uh, revolution. However, we have seen violent scenes already across uh, the country. To my right here, just by some key government buildings like the Cabinet Building, uh, clashes continue between security forces uh, and protesters. In addition, in the last half an hour, we've had reports of street battles happening in Egypt's second city, Alexandria, between security forces and demonstrators. Now, Bell, two years after the revolution, two years after widespread protests in the iconic Tahrir Square, they finally get the Islamists to government, but apparently they're still not happy. What is it truly that's driving the people back out onto the streets? Absolutely. Uh, two years ago, people came to the streets as they were fed up with the injustice of uh, the Hassan Mubarak regime. Here we are today, and people are back on the streets saying they have seen no change uh, since the 18th day uprising in 2011. Main subjects that I've uh, been talking to people about have been the economy. Uh, at least a quarter of the population are now living under the poverty line. Uh, in addition, the constitution is a point of contention here. They say it's drafted by an Islamist dominated constituent assembly and is not representative of Egypt. Uh, behind me, a defiant scene here, not celebratory scenes. People say they will not leave until President Mohamed Morsi makes the changes they want. All right, I'm sure this is uh, not the last we're hearing of this. Arti uh, Beltru, a correspondent there live in Cairo. Thanks very much for that.